and you can choose from either the sleep masks that are at your table or sunglasses with your meal. It's, you're not sure if you're uh, spilling on yourself? You don't know how much to open your mouth, whether it's the broth or all of a sudden you'll have a piece of meat or whatever there may be in this bowl. I ate the bread and I dipped it in the soup because I knew where the soup was. It frightened me. I'm holding on to my wine glass, which, you know, if I had my eyes open and could see everything, people would think that I'm uh, uh, very uncouth and, and uh, stuck, uh, you know, trying to guard my booze. But, but uh, in this environment, it makes perfect sense and nobody can see that I'm doing it, so they have no idea. So there's pluses as well. As my eyes have been closing, they've also been opened. And they've been opened by the hope created by the inspiring and exciting work of scientists, such as those who have stepped up to the plate tonight to help facilitate this out of sight sensory experience. Well, the money's going to go towards student ships, it's going to go towards equipment that's, that's going to help fit out our labs. We're going to have the University of Alberta Department of Ophthalmology and try to, you know, begin to push some of this science that we'd really like to see happen here in Edmonton. Um, you know, they need money to uh, do their job and uh, this is a sort of a grassroots community uh, kind of event, you know, supporting their efforts.